Hey guys, it's almost two in the morning and I just wanted to film this while I'm still in my attire with the paint on my forehead and stuff because it is suitable to the occasion. And I started filming this and I was speaking in Portuguese and I was like, oh shoot, so I switched it now and I'm doing a new one in English. But um, I've been helping out at this retreat next door, which is an Indian retreat. It happens to be Indian retreat because it was a theme for meditation and learning about mantras and yoga techniques and all kinds of different things like that and mythology and it's been really neat um, and tonight we had a ceremony to exchange our names to switch our names to a spiritual name <laughs> not get attached to your name. candlelit aisle to the fireplace and take as much time as you need express gratitude to your current name and where it's brought you in life up until now and whatever you need to say in that moment just take your time express your gratitude say goodbye and then throw that name into the fire to symbolize ending in that name and then you go walk down the other candlelit aisle towards Giti Bond who is the leader of this retreat we're having right now and she has assigned everybody who have wanted to participate with new spiritual names so I went up there and received my spiritual name which is now Gaia Nyachi which means Destino Abensuado so blessed destiny and it was really nice that she gave me this name because first of all I really like the name I think it's really suitable to me Gaia now I'm Gaia I like that but um, it was really suitable to me because I ended up in this place because of destiny, really. I went to an ayahuasca retreat because I followed my heart. I really wanted to participate in an ayahuasca retreat here in Brazil. And I ended up here because of that. And I stayed after the retreat. I ended up meeting a big, big love of my life, the love of my life. work for this retreat which is next door so it's really I ended up here really by destiny and yeah so I feel very blessed as well so this, you know, this name is very suitable for me and it's really a beautiful ceremony I just wanted to document the process of that how how that came about what is the ceremony all about and it's really nice it feels like it really fits me somehow chapter of my life, a new cycle, uh, 
identity that I should not be attached to either, which is really interesting, to, which was really nice to remember. And also just the meaning of this name in particular, and everybody's names, it has some meaning to remind you to bring you back to the present moment and to feel grateful for what you have and to, remem to remind us that all that we are all made out of love and light. Why should I be holding on to my name I was born and raised with and like close-minded to participate in a ceremony where you can receive a new, unique spiritual name with a new meaning? I mean, like, I'm all for it. I think it's great. And of course, still people will call me by my legal name. Like, of course, that's the name I'm used to. But also, I'm open to being called by Gaia Nyachi now, or Gaia. So, yeah, I have not been converted to any religion or brainwashed or anything but it's all about symbolism of not getting attached to the names that we were born and raised with and to really contemplate like who who are we like who what is this i so i'm glad i did it it feels really nice and it felt like it was a good time to mark this new chapter in my life i'm gonna be almost 30 coming up i'll be 30 soon and a lot of big important changes have happened in my life in the last few years. I've definitely grown a lot as a person and my life is taking very, a lot of new paths. I definitely feel like I encountered my destiny here right after the ayahuasca retreat. The other interesting thing about this name is that it includes the first letters of both of my parents' names so that was a coincidence as well. And uh, my partner, interestingly enough, his spiritual name, he got named the um, Amit, which is the name of my sister's husband's father. So there's a lot of coincidences with that. And she, this woman who, Gichibon, she had no idea like any of these coincidences. That other people had coincidences with their names too. So, so yeah, it's been really interesting to learn about these Indian, Indian traditions. Apparently in India, people change names all the time as like a rebirth and to like start fresh, which is really cool to not get attached to our names. And like, why not? try a new name and see how that works and we're all in just in life to experiment and see how it goes and find what works for us so yeah and then I got this red dot on my forehead for part of the ceremony it was really beautiful I'm I'm just really glad that I did it so yeah keep an open mind and do what feels right do what makes you feel good subscribe to my channel if you haven't already live your life i'm just on a journey sharing my journey with others and being my authentic self as always because that is the only way i can really be to feel fulfilled so i hope you're inspired to be your authentic self too whoever that may be and don't get attached to your name we're not actually our names and we're all one big family so shout outs to all my brothers and sisters out there that I haven't met in real life but I thank you for watching my channel and I hope that you do subscribe and leave a comment expressing your whatever comments your love your gratitude your joy your whatever it may be maybe you didn't like the video I don't know but put out the, put the comment down there because let's talk about it and yeah thanks again for watching and i hope that you're all well and feeling good if you're not feeling good right now know that it will pass because everything in life passes we too someday will pass and anything you're feeling bad is going to pass and just spreading my good energy out there to all of you hopefully you feel it let me know in the comments